Hello everybody and welcome to our webinar for the all new Metroscan Black 3D Scanner. My name is Christian Gerbeck and with me today is Dan McConnell. So our mission for this event is to provide our audience an overview of what's new and different about the all new Metroscan Black and how those improvements are going to translate in the real world benefits. Over the next 25 minutes or so, here's what you can expect. We're going to provide some quick insight onto EMS, Creoform and the uh, Metroscan the new Metroscan technology. We'll be demonstrating that technology and addressing the key changes Creoform has made to the new Metroscan. Afterwards, we'll take some questions that have been submitted in the chat and then we'll do a wrap up. So let's kick things off with some background about EMS. We are a provider of 3D scanning precision measurement solutions that improve the speed and efficiency of design, reverse engineering, and inspection processes. We're an authorized partner for a number of manufacturers within the metrology space, just one being Creaform, which we've been a partner with since 2006, making us one of their most tenured partners. Now, Creaform is a manufacturer of portable and automated 3D measurement technologies. They're based in Quebec City, Canada, and have an international offices in 11 different countries. Now, Creaform officially announced the all new Metroscan Black Elite this past June. This being the fourth generation of the Metroscan, the first one being released back in 2011. So the Metroscan, it's unique compared to other Creaform scanners like the Handy Scan and the Ghost Scan Spark, and that the Metroscan uses optical targets on a scan head that are tracked by an accompanying C track. This setup has several distinct advantages. For one, stationary targets do not need to be targeted. Uh, two, larger objects are going to be scanned over greater distances with greater accuracy. And three, a handheld probe called a handy probe is commonly used in conjunction with the Metroscan to capture additional surface data. And like all Creoform portable scanners, targets can be applied to the object and this is to help compensate for any vibrations or movements that may happen during the scan process. You know, targets can also be used to tie together scans that maybe have been taken from multiple angles and different directions, uh, which often comes in play when doing larger scan projects. In the real world, metro scans are primarily employed for design, reverse engineering, and quality inspection functions. A variety of industries utilize the metro scan, primarily those with, uh, working in big stuff. So it's very common to see metro scans employed within manufacturing environments like uh, automotive, industrial, power gen, aerospace, marine, and defense. Uh, when EMS, when we're contracted to perform on-site scanning for one of these verticals, we typically employ the Metroscan. When, when Creaform released the new Metroscan that we're gonna be showing here, they also released their latest operating software to run their scanning hardware, called VX Elements, this being version 8.0. Uh, EMS published a new video last month that's showing all the updates of this latest version. Uh, several of those updates are actually really specific to the new Metroscan and some prior, gen prior generation models. So we'll definitely be going over those uh, during this webinar. So visually, the new Metroscan, it really doesn't look that different from the old model. Uh, some of the exterior trim colors, they've been tweaked, but it's still generally the same setup. You've got a scan head, an optional probe, a C-Track unit, all tethered to a laptop and a controller. The notable changes are in the capabilities of the scanner, which you're going to be able to see here momentarily. So Dan, uh, why don't you go ahead, fire up the Metroscan Black Elite and show us how it works. Sure. Yeah, uh, like Christian was saying, uh, the whole setup includes the C-Track and Metroscan head. We have our C-Track set up here and our Metroscan head here. And for this demo, we're going to be scanning this vehicle here, primarily focusing on the quarter panel bumper and the hood area. Uh, to start the scan session, all I have to do is pull, is push the button on the trigger. And that will open up the it will open up the scan session, and from there I'm just going to pick the spot where I'm going to start. I'm going to go ahead and start here in this uh, top corner of the of the hood, and just pull the trigger once, and then start scanning right away. So our audience saw uh, perhaps the most notable update to the new Metro Scan. Uh, Dan here he just picked it up and started scanning. He didn't have to wait for the Metro Scan to warm up like prior models. With the release of VX Elements 8.0, Metroscan Black users, as well as prior 350, 750, standard elite variants of each of those, now have a feature called Dynamic Environmental Compensation, which is a very long way of saying no warm-up time. Dynamic Environmental Compensation allows users to start scanning immediately 
by placing a calibration bar in the field of view during the scan process. The bar can be moved around during the scan process and even if the bar is temporarily obstructed by the user, it's not going to affect results. Not only does the bar eliminate warm-up time, it also compensates for temperature variations over a prolonged scan project. For example, EMS, we've scanned dozens of commercial and military aircraft over the years. These projects take place in hangars that are generally and typically not environmentally controlled. Uh, early morning temperatures can be in the 50s, mid-afternoon temps. They can be in the 90s or higher. So now dynamic environmental compensation allows us to scan throughout the day, eliminating the need for recalibrations due to temperature changes. In other words, our total process time to scan has been reduced so we can get more work done in less time. In terms of specifications, the new Metroscan Black Elite is measuring 1.8 million points per second. The prior top of the line model, the 750 Elite, scanned 480,000 points per second. So the new Black Elite is capturing nearly four times as much data in the same amount of time compared to the old model. Creoform made this happen by increasing the number of laser lines from 14 to 30. The Black Elite retains the 750 single line mode, which helps capture tricky parts of a surface like holes or cavities. And something that current Metroscan users may have noticed is that the scan area for the new model is larger than the prior model, 168 square inches versus 106. So this further expedites the data capture process. Now, one thing Christian had mentioned was the single line mode, and I purposely just kind of skipped over this wheel here so I could showcase that. So I'm gonna start scanning right right now, and just it'll be in the regular mode here, being able to kind of get the outside of the wheel. And then when I click on the trigger twice, that will start the single line mode. And you'll see what that does is it takes those two cameras and it focuses it right on that single line um, that's going over the wheel here and I'll be able to get the rotor really well get, and then I can really get into the calipers and just the inside of the wheel and it's a great way to g grab something that's maybe of thin veins on a, on a part or blind holes and you're able to grab data that you may have missed with just the regular uh, the regular mode of the scanner now to stop the scan I'm just going to hold the trigger here exit the scan se scan session and that's going to show you with this instant mesh so there you go. I've, all I did was wait a couple seconds and now I, I can look at my mesh and see what I've captured pretty much with just, with just waiting a, a several seconds, just a handful of seconds. And this is a very, this is very important because, you know, I can always go in and I can see, you know, maybe the front of this tire I still want to get. So I can go right back in holding down the trigger, come right back to the tire. I start scanning that again, kind of filling in that area. Once I'm satisfied, I can hold that trigger again, wait a couple seconds, and then it puts my mesh right back up. So instead of, in the, and this is important because the prior generations of VX elements, you'd have to wait maybe a handful, up to a handful of minutes just to go from scanning to an actual mesh that you can actually look at. So it further increases the time, uh, or increase, it further helps you uh, with your whole scan process and, and making it faster. Now, Creoform added another significant enhancement to VX elements to, that can be used for Gen 3 and Gen 4 models of the Metroscan, and that's called automatic volume extension. Before, when you just needed to, to scan sizable objects, they may uh, employ a max shot photogrammetry device, or more commonly, they will conduct a multi-step pr uh, process to extend the volume, whereas the user would set up positioning targets, in this case, on a vehicle, detect those targets with the C-Track in a stationary position, then move the C-Track and capture additional targets, repeating that process until the entire volume was captured. Now, automatic volume extension allows users to capture all the targets with the C-Track, but in a single dynamic movement. The user, so the user only needs to activate the automatic volume extension feature, then move the C-Track around the target area. Once the software detects that, for, that no further movement, then the target acquisition will stop. This method significantly speeds up the scan process as a whole. The target capture can be conducted with the standard tripod that comes with the Metroscan or the shop floor stand that we have here. So speed was one 
big area of improvement that Korea 4 made on the new Metro Scan. And the second area was really focusing on increasing the accuracy and resolution of the new scanner. Now, the new MetroScan Black Elite's accuracy is on par with last year's HandyScan Black Elite handheld scanner at 9 tenths of a thou or 25 micron. Uh, accuracy is based on a VDI VDE 2634 Part 3 standard within an ISO 17025 accredited laboratory. Now, as far as resolution, the Black Elite's resolution is approximately two times greater than the prior generation, specifically 9 tenths of a thousandths or 25 microns for measurement resolution, and 39 ten thousandths or 100 microns for mesh resolution. This means users can, are, will be able to view greater detail in their scan data that other scanners may miss. Another, good, another great change from Creaform has made to the new model is changing the laser lines from red to a blue laser line. The blue laser sc scatters less than red, and that really uh, has a big impact on certain, cer certain uh, features or certain uh, surface areas like shiny, reflective, or even polished materials. So capturing these surface types is even easier with the new MetroScan. The third area that Creaform focused attention on was improving the overall versatility and usability of the product itself. In that respect, Creaform made updates to the Handy Probe, the shop floor stand, and the portable workstation. Now, the Handy Probe, it's a handheld touch probe that does the same type of work that traditional CMM performs. But instead, the probe is free of rigid constraints allowing for greater range of motion. So since the Handy Probe uses the same C-Track uh, as the MetroScan, it's very often used in conjunction with the scanner itself. The Handy Probe now has the same improved point-to-point -point accuracy that the new MetroScan affords. Uh, 9 tenths of a thou or 25 micron. Uh, the Handy Probe's acceptance test now follows the ISO 10360 12 standard that is ISO 17025 accredited. New enhancements like dynamic environmental compensation and automatic volume extension now also extend to the Handy Probe. Now, Creaform has also made some great improvements to their optional shop floor stand. The stand has been completely redesigned, affording a 27% weight reduction. The upright post is now removable, which, this, which will make for easier transportation. And now the Creaform has also reworked the entire base, now able to secure all the components of the entire system, which includes the controller, the scanner, the probe, the calibration bar, batteries, and cables. And speaking of cables, the cable ends have been completely redesigned, now with having uh, little cable end snaps. This, this allows the user to move the equipment around without fear of cables becoming undone during the scan process. Lastly, Creaform updated the optional self-power battery kit on the cart. Now it being able to run the entire system for several hours without having to plug into an external AC power source. Creaform also made their portable workstation available for the MetroScan this year. The workstation is ideal for on-the-go MetroScan users. Users who employ their MetroScan for various shop floor locations, multiple job sites, or even outdoors. During transportation, the IP54 rated wheel case safely secures scanner, laptop, calibration plate, and cables. And once at the job site, this case transforms into an ergonomically designed workstation that helps, the, helps supports the laptop and keeps equipment organized and secure. So with all the updates and enhancement Creaform has made to the new MetroScan, now how does this translate into real world usage? Well, scanners like the MetroScan are typically employed within work related to design, reverse engineering, and quality. Now all of these processes require data capture, the physical process of digitally spray painting an object. Now simply put, Creaform made that process for users a lot faster so companies can now get more work done in a day. For example, it took EMS one hour, start to finish, to scan a new Cadillac Escalade. Using the old MetroScan 750 Elite, last year's top of the line model, it took two and a half hours because the prior model needed to be warmed up, acquired targets multiple times, uh, and had a comparatively slower scan speed. And lest we forget, the resulting scan data with the new scanner is improved in nine tenths of a thou. Yep. 
Now, companies employing the new metro scan for design and reverse engineering applications see their development cycles reduced. For B2B manufacturers, that means on-time deliveries and increased capacity for more business. For B2C manufacturers, your time to market is faster than your competition. And compared to stationary structured light scanners and arm-mounted scanners, metro scans are gaining more and more market share due to their simple ease of use, portability, and versatility. And for those using the new MetroScan and Handy Probe for inspection, the metrology grade accuracy of 9 tenths of a thousandth will ensure tolerant specs are met for product tooling and mitigating the likelihood of downstream fitment issues or costly rework. The MetroScan is a, uh, a versatile metrology tool. Now, it's going to scan surface types that most scanners struggle with. Uh, machine metal, polished metal, chrome, mirrored, even dark surfaces. This means clients are not going to be relying on coating surfaces prior to scanning, which Dan, we both know it's not always possible. It's true. Um, and the, the Handy Probe is a standalone product, has several advantages over traditional CMMs. Mm. Uh, primarily shop floor portability, uh, simplified operation that can be mastered within a few hours of training in lieu of a few days or weeks. And it also takes up a lot less floor space. Um, so we've been getting some questions here from viewers. So this is going to be the Q&A section of the webinar. Uh, we've been getting some here through the chat over the last few minutes. So we've got some very specific ones. So if we don't get to your question uh, during this event, uh, we promise to get back to you here uh, afterwards. So uh, the question that we've got from a few people already is, um, how much does this cost? Yeah, how much does this cost? So, um, you know, I shoot us an email about this. And the reason is that there's several new variants of the Metro Scan, and they have a pretty wide price range. Um, now, before we go, we're going to talk about the variants. There's additional scanners to the new Metro Scan Black product line, um, and we're going to talk about those here. But, um, you know, give us a call first, uh, and we're going we're gonna to ask about your intended application. We're going to learn more about how you're going to use it. And the reason we, we want to understand these things is because we want to recommend the best model for your organization. So um, in terms of pricing, I can say that uh, clients who may be familiar with the old uh, 750 Elite scanner, the old top-of-the-line model, um, I can say that the pricing for the new MetroScan Black Elite, the one that we've been demoing here today, it's generally in line with that. Um, so pricing, give us an email about that. Um, another question we've got from a few folks here, and we've been getting this since we officially announced the new product uh, back in June, is availability. Uh, short answer on that is September. Uh, so how did we get our hands on this one? Well, Creaform, they, uh, they made some early production units available to some of their top resellers. So that's how we've managed to be able to get our hands on one early and uh, already do demos for interested parties. So um, if you'd like to see the new uh, MetroScan Black Elite, learn more about it. The best thing I can say is, you know, shoot us a, an email, give us a call. Uh, we can make arrangements for either an in-person product demonstration or more likely a web-based demonstration. Um, another question that we're getting is, uh, yeah, v, okay, uh, VX Elements. We've, we've talked about VX Elements 8.0. We referenced it throughout the, the webinar here today. Yep. So uh, how do they get it? So we have some current clients on a call today. They, they'd like to know how do we get it. And I know you've helped some of those guys out. So I'll, I'll punt it to you, Dan. Okay. Um, well, if you are currently on maintenance, and you would like to upgrade to VX Elements 8.0, it's pretty simple. Uh, you can uh, log on to Creaform's website into your customer portal. When you go in there and go into your products, uh, there should be a drop down area to find your VX, VX Elements 8.0, and you can download from there. Uh, you can also just open VX Elements, especially if you have your customer portal linked with your VX Elements uh, software, and it probably will prompt you to just upgrade or in the product manager area where you manage all your products and all your licenses, uh, there should be a link or an, a, probably a, a flag that will pop up saying to upgrade uh, there as well. Um, if you're having problems with any of this, you can feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email. Um, we'd be more than happy to walk, over the, uh, walk everything over uh, that process 
through with you over the phone, maybe through uh, video chat um, or just a screen share through a computer, just so we can uh, help you uh, get the latest and greatest software for your scanner. So we've got some other questions out there. Um, and uh, I promise to get back to those folks here after the webinar because they're, they're very specific ones. So uh, then is probably a good time to outline the new MetroScan uh, model lineup. Uh, so before, there were four models. You had the 350, the 750, and then uh, standard and elite versions of both of those. Now, uh, Creaform has made available three models for the MetroScan. You've got the top level black elite, which we've all seen today. You've got a mid-range black and an entry-level 357. Now, the mid-range black uh, it has 14 laser lines versus the black's uh, elite's 30. Uh, this means comparatively slower scan speed than the black elite, but still faster than last year's top-of-the-line 750 elite. Uh, the black's accuracy and resolution are comparatively less than the black elite, but again, better than last year's 750 elite, which again, top-of-the-line model last year. Uh, the Black Elite has single line mode. Uh, the Black version does not. Uh, but the upside to the Black is that it costs uh, less than the Black Elite. Yep. And now the, the entry level metro scan that we had made, that Christian mentioned is now called the Metro Scan 357. And it's essentially a previous generation Metro Scan 750 just without the single line mode. Um, all three scanners can be paired with the Handy Probe. All three can work with Creoform's new VX Elements 8.0 software. And all three are compatible and can use the new dynamic environment compensation and the automatic volume extension enhancement that Creoforms have just released with the new uh, VX Elements software. So we're coming up here at the end of the webinar. So, you know, Dan and I, we're going to recap some of the new features that are now available with the MetroScan, uh, the MetroScan Black family here. So. You know, number one, the addition of dynamic environmental compensation within VX Elements 8.0 uh, eliminates the warm-up time for black uh, metro scans, as well as the prior 350, 750 standard and elite variants of those. Uh, the automatic volume extension that Dan showed us means that users are going to capture all the positioning targets ahead in just one step instead of multi-steps. Uh, the new metro scan black and black elite 357 uh, they scan faster, they have increased accuracy, higher resolution, and a larger scan data, enabling more data in less time. Now the optional shop floor stand we talked about is, has been redesigned, now it can hold the entire system, and it's also 27% lighter than it was before. Uh, the additional portable workstation now has been made for to be to work with the new metro scan and it now it makes an easier and safer process for those users that might be using job sites that are maybe off the beaten path or in different locations that are maybe on a larger campus now and now the handy probes accuracy has also nearly doubled to now nine, nine tenths of a thousandths or 25 microns and also benefits from the vx elements new dynamic environment compensation and automatic volume extension so like little updates to the hardware um, and also the cable tabs, uh, get with the, that, the interlocking cable tabs, they just give users peace of mind. And, that now, and also the optional batteries that are on the cart just give a larger, higher capacity for the cart to be used without an AC power um, that connected to that cart. So uh, what's this give our customers? Well, taken as a whole, uh, the new Creaform Black is gonna help organizations get more work done in less time with greater accuracy, resulting in higher product, to, uh, higher product quality and just faster time to market. So, you know, Dan, I, I think we're all said here. Uh, I think we've said it all really. Now, if you'd like some additional information about the new MetroScan Black uh, or 3D scanning in general, you know, drop us a line, uh, info at EMS. 3d.com uh, or give us a call with the advent of covid uh, ems we've become pros at doing web-based live scanner demos so if you'd like to see the new metro scan black elite but you can't meet us in person just send us a part we'll schedule a live web demo on uh zoom or go to meeting yep now 
I uh, we were scanning this this BMW BMW for this webinar, um, and earlier today I actually scanned this entire vehicle, and we've saved that data. If you're interested in getting a copy of that data to take a look and just really analyze how well this the scanner is performing, and just look at that raw scan data, feel free to give us uh, shoot us an email at the info at ems3d.com, and we'd be more than happy to share it with you. You know, additionally, EMS has a ton of product reviews and real-world demos regarding 3D scanning and precision measurement on our YouTube channel, which you can find if you search EMS 3D. Now, Christian and I also re referenced EVX Elements 8.0 several times, um, and it, there's also, like I said prior, there are, there's a new video up on our channel describing all the new enhancements to the software um, that should be actually one of the newer videos, so should be easy to find. So with that, um on behalf of uh, Dan McConnell, myself, and the rest of EMS, uh, hey, thank you very much for attending our webinar. Thanks.